up in my vegetable garden space today working on planting some tomatoes and peppers. It's supposed to be a gorgeous day and I think it's finally safe to get them planted. So the peppers and the tomatoes are all planted and I just wanted to show you guys what uh, kind of tomatoes and peppers I planted today. Um, this one is a Better Boy hybrid tomato. It's an indeterminate uh, variety which means that it will get, uh, it won't stop growing and it doesn't have, it'll keep producing fruit all year long. So there's a, there's three different types of tomatoes. There's uh, indeterminate, determinate, and then semi-determinant. And an indeterminate tomato means that it can grow and grow and grow until the frost takes it and it'll just keep producing tomatoes for you. Um, here's the other one. It is the same. These are nice big slicing tomatoes. And then we'll come on over here to where the peppers are. So this nice big one Right here is a sweet banana hybrid pepper. So it's a banana pepper, nice yellow peppers. Right here, this little guy is an orange bell pepper, sweet pepper. And then these two up here are an orange bell pepper. And then the rest of this space I'm going to fill with some cherry tomatoes. So let me step back here so you can kind of see. We have our peppers in the front and then in the back section here we're going to have um, two or three, probably three, cherry tomatoes that I need to get yet. So I hope this video was fun guys. I hope you like seeing a little bit of my tender crops going in, finally. It feels like it took forever. I know it's only uh, right after Mother's Day. So I hope this video was fun, you guys. Just finally being able to put in my tomatoes and my peppers. I actually put them in a week ago and we ended up having some really cold nights and I actually just decided to come out and dig them up put them in some pots and take them back inside because I had covered them the first night that it was really cold and I lost two cherry tomatoes. I actually had my plants that I was gonna put in the smaller bed, um, but they both got um, frozen and just didn't make it. Yeah, I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting and it's finally, I think, warm enough and it should stay above freezing temperatures. At least that's what the 10 day forecast is showing. So I think we should be okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.